So we were looking for a bandsaw and I kept finding them, but they were really expensive. So we found this one in an auction. It's an older Atlas model. It was put on this little table with the little motor there. It might have been how it came factory, but I just, I don't know. This is how we got it. See, it needs a little bit of love. It's obviously an older model. What we paid for it was a couple hundred bucks. I think it could be a lot better. And I just know that there's a lot of things that we can do with it. It came with this little quarter inch blade. You can tell these things are very worn. They're cracked. I mean, I mean, you can see what kind of shape those things are in. They're all worn and cracked. Now, the bigger the wheel, the easier these are. So this technique also works very good on stretch belts. So if you have a stretch belt on your vehicle, this technique of using the zip ties works out really well on those too. Just don't get your fingers under there like that. There was a couple other pieces of equipment that I wanted while we were there, but we were outbid it on. So we'll just undo these guides. They're just like a brass, and we'll keep them just in case the new guides we got. All right, so I bought these cool blocks. And look who's here, the boss man came to see if I'm doing everything right. Good boy. He's always got to check and make sure we're doing it right. And just a little bit of lubricant. Because I'm going to be cutting a lot of stainless and stuff. So, yeah, that 24 would be nice. It's bimetal. Alright, so let's see how long this blade needs to be. Alright, so we got to get these sent back. So I got a, it should be an 82 inch blade. Not an 80 inch blade. Trying to get that blade to be right in the center of that wheel. Be needing these anymore. Don't 
there's some minor things that it still needs, but for a couple hundred dollars at auction, I don't think it's all too bad for what we... Want to see some of the things we build in the shop? I'll see you in this next video.